Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make a contact sheet. Now a contact sheet will take multiple files and move them onto multiple pages, um, but it takes any number of pictures and puts them essentially into a multi-page document. So this is a great way to show me all of the photos that you've taken for a project. Let's jump into it. So we're going to jump into Adobe Bridge, first of all, open up Bridge. I do have a video on setting up Bridge for the first time. If you haven't done that, go do that first. Now, navigate to the folder that you want to run the contact sheet from. Each project should have its own folder, and that way um, the photos that are in that folder, you can select all of them. In this case, I've got the light and shadow project. You can see here, content, light and shadow. Um, and you can see at the bottom of this content screen, I have 18 items. So that's gonna tell me that I will have two pages when this is done. So let's take a look at how to jump in and do this. So the first thing you're gonna do is select all. The shortcut key is Command A. You can also go up here to the top menu. Now, uh, just as a heads up, if your Adobe Bridge is down here, you're still gonna have the menu up here. Let me show you what I mean if I zoom in a little bit. At the very top of the screen, you'll see the Apple, and then depending on the program that you have open, you'll see here it says Adobe Bridge, but if it was um, uh, Google Chrome or Photoshop, you'll see that name of the program up here. But uh, I just hit Command A, right? So if we have this up here, you can also go up here to edit and then see select all from the menu. So again, that's going to be from the edit menu and you can see the shortcut key. This is the shortcut key here, command A. So let's go ahead and select all. That's going to select all of the photos in this folder. We'll wait for that. There we go. You can see 18 items, 18 selected. We're ready to go to the next step. We're going to go up here to the top menu again, tools. Photoshop contact sheet 2. If you don't have this contact sheet here, let me know, but you should have it. Go ahead and click on contact sheet 2. It's going to open up Adobe Photoshop. If you don't have Adobe Photoshop open, just wait and about 30 seconds to a minute it should launch and you'll see this screen here. If you see a screen that says Photoshop is busy with another task, just say yes, um, you know, it says uh, Photoshop is busy with another task. Would you like to cue this or something like that? Just say yes, that's great. Let's go through this screen here. So this is the contact sheet um, dialog box. We're gonna go ahead and see that I have 18 files selected. Your number should be different depending on how many files you have in the folder. Let's go down here. We're gonna skip this document part. We're gonna leave it exactly how it is. We don't wanna change that. We're gonna jump down here to thumbnails and captions. So let's jump down here. We wanna change this number, this columns number to three, and we wanna change the rows number to five. We're gonna rotate for best fit, and we're going to uncheck use file name as caption. So those are the four things that you need to change the first time that you run a contact sheet. After that, you shouldn't have to change this. Once you do this right the first time, three, five, rotate for best fit, uncheck file name is caption, then every time you make a contact sheet, it should be the same. Let's go ahead and click OK. And what it's gonna do now is take all of those 18 photos, put them three across, five down per page. So you'll see two pages here because we have 18 photos. It'll make 15 photos on the first page and then three photos on the second page. So this is a um, good, uh, I think, example where you're gonna see your last page loaded at the end when everything's done. So if you see something like this where you only have three photos, well, where do we find that? Well, up here in the upper left-hand corner, you can see context sheet two and then over here, Context Sheet 1. So here's the tabs at the top of the screen that you might see. So you can see Context Sheet 1, Context Sheet 2. I've got three photos on this page, and this is, if you have multiple pages of full images like this, you'll see three across and five down. Now, if the aspect ratio of your camera is different than mine, you may have some white space in between there. But if you have a lot of white space, if you have more than three across and five down, 
and or if you have some text under your photos, you're gonna wanna redo this. Go back and follow those four things that I set up in the context sheet dialog box. Three, five, rotate for best fit, and uncheck the use file name um, dialog uh, uh, checkbox. Context sheet one, context sheet two. We're gonna save this now in a special way. We only use this saving method for this kind of thing, when we have multiple files that we want to save into a single document. To save, we're gonna go up here to File at the top of the screen. We're gonna go down to Automate and then PDF Presentation. Let me zoom out so you can see where we find that. It's about two thirds of the way down and then the second option here, PDF Presentation. We're going to add open files, click on that, and you can see contact sheet one and contact sheet two, and then we go over here to save. It will bring up another box. We want to navigate to the right place. In this case, the default is the documents folder. You should see over here under favorites, my drive. If you don't see my drive over here in the favorites, all right, on this part right here, if you don't see my drive, come see me. We have to set up our Google Drive. In this case, I don't have my Google Drive here in my favorites. I've got my Google Drive over here. You should have the my drive folder, not Google Drive. I'm doing things a little bit differently because my Google Drive is set up just a little bit differently than I want you to be using Google Drive. So. I'm going to click here to Google Drive. I'm going to navigate to the correct folder. In this case, my drive. I'm going to go down to photo one. Now you should have a photo one folder. And in this case, this is the light and shadow folder. So I'm going to click on that folder. You want to save to the folder that you are working from. So in this case, this is the light and shadow project but um, if you're working on abstract images or another project, Pan Planet maybe, whatever the project is, save this PDF to the right folder. All right, so I've navigated to the right folder here. I'm gonna go up here where it says Untitled. I'm gonna highlight that. I never wanna change my file extension. So everything before the period I'm gonna change, everything after the period I leave, period PDF. I'm gonna save this as a PDF file. I don't wanna change that. In this case, I'm gonna name it. Now, we're gonna do the same naming convention that we always do, in this case, Stansfield underscore, right? So last, first, and then whatever the project is. In this case, light and shadow. And I always like to do this, dash CS for contact sheet, okay? So whatever the project is, you're gonna fill in that right here. You're gonna fill in your first name, your last name, and then I always like to do dash CS at the end so I know it's a contact sheet. If you wanna spell it out, you could type in contact sheet. Now notice there are no spaces on this file name. That's because I always wanna have either an underscore or a dash, never a period. I don't wanna put periods in here like that, right? Never a period, always underscores, dashes, something like that. Um, in this case, this is good to save now. I'm in the right folder. I have the naming convention here and I have my file extension. I'm gonna click save. There's gonna be another window that pops up. We're gonna click save PDF and that will save the multi-page PDF to that folder. If I go back to Google Drive, um, I'm sorry, if I go back to Adobe Bridge, I can see here is the multi-page document. You can see page one and then page two. Let's go back to Photoshop here really quickly because when you're done with the contact sheet, you do not want to save these individual pages. So we're going to go up here to File, Close All. Now this is only when I'm using uh, the contact sheet because I have two open pages. Now you may have three, four, five open pages depending on how many images you have for your project. In this case, I'm going to go to Close All. You can see there is a shortcut key, but we want to go up here. Let me zoom in. File, Close All. Command option W is the shortcut key. Don't need to worry too much about that. Here it says, do you wanna save the changes to the Adobe Photoshop document, contact sheet two before closing? We do not wanna save. Now we can actually click here, apply to all, and then don't save. And that's gonna close all of those windows, all of those pages without saving. Let's go back to bridge. Here's our contact sheet ready to go. So this is how you're gonna make a contact sheet 
using Adobe Bridge and Photoshop. I hope that helps.